And right now, picket lines are popping up all across the country. More than 10,000 John Deere workers, members of the United Auto Workers Union, are on strike. It is the nation's largest private sector strike in two years, and the impact is being felt here in Georgia as well. Natisha Lance spoke to some workers who are demanding better pay and benefits. Members of Georgia's United Auto Workers Union clocking out and standing in solidarity. They set up in front of the John Deere warehouse in McDonough for over 12 hours Friday. This is day two of their strike. You know, we feel we deserve, you know, what we need to take care of our families and everything. It's just one group out of 10,000 members across the country forming picket lines to demand more from agricultural company John Deere. To come out here and pick it with my brothers and sisters, especially being a part of something much bigger, to get exactly what we've earned, I think is well worth it. The strike coming after the union rejected a proposed wage hike and a reported record-breaking year for the agricultural giant, raking in nearly $5 billion in profits. Well, all the CEOs get all the money, and it doesn't, you know, they don't care to give us any of it. You know, after we're doing all the work for them. They say employee compensation has not kept up with the times. When I came to work here in 73, a good friend retired, and these people get less retirement than he did. And that's almost 48 years ago. Now they are willing to sit out as long as it takes to get higher pay and better benefits for everyone. And NBC News reporting that John Deere will keep operations running while trying to reach a solution.